I think there's this unspoken truth among gay men where we, for a long time, don't realize that our battles with gay loneliness runs, you know, parallel and eventually intersects with our battle with body image. And whether, whether gay men are willing to admit it or not, most of us, if not all, do struggle with one or both at one point in our lives. And it can be very debilitating, demoralizing, and especially with regard to body image. Like, I feel like body image does exasperate gay loneliness ultimately because so much of our community and, you know, connection and attractiveness is based on that, like, physical aesthetic that people find pleasing. And it's often made more concrete and, and solidified by what we see in media and on social media. Now, it's not to say that people don't have their, you know, respective attractions and their preferences, but, like, there's also some very, very clear bullying that happens even within our community regarding body image. And I couldn't stop thinking about it today. I, I've been trying, like, I go through these cycles, and I know a lot of other gay men probably go through these cycles as well, where we work out a lot. We work, we are, we live in the gym. We are just constantly trying to shape our bodies to the standard that we see. And then we have moments where we look at ourselves in the mirror and we're just like angry or frustrated or downtrodden by what we see and it not fitting this aesthetic. And then we have also moments where we might look in the mirror and see ourselves as you know, that ideal image that we want. And mind you, I think that it's phenomenal that, you know, there are many people who want to work on themselves and their bodies when it comes to improving their own health and, and getting to the point where they want their bodies to appear the way they want. Like, that's fine, I of course. But, like, I think to a certain point, we lose ourselves so far in it that it starts to spill over in other aspects of our lives, especially, like, our mental health, right? And, like, I know, like, in the past, like, I've had some very toxic tendencies regarding working out. Like, I know when I was in college, I would work out so much and eat so little that I literally ended up giving myself an eating disorder at a certain point. I... I, I, it just spiraled and spiraled and spiraled. And now that I'm in my mid thirties and I am a little bit more measured and I, I've, I've had therapy for a number of years, like I've been able to unpack a lot of it. And now I can actually like look at myself in the mirror and be like, you know, I feel that I am attractive with the aesthetic that I have, and I'm satisfied with that aesthetic. Don't get me wrong, like, I have days where it doesn't feel that way. And, I mean, I, of course, I do have the privilege of also having a fiancé who also provides validation every now and then. We provide each other validation. I know not everybody has that luxury, and I very much remember what it was like at my loneliest when I did not have that, but... At the end of the day, I think the, the point that I'm trying to make with this is both gay loneliness and our battles with body image are very much intertwined. They're very much intertwined. And I think that by unpacking those and working on each of those aspects individually, ultimately it'll contribute to a greater, more wholesome sense of completion. That's just me. Anyway, what do you guys think? Share your comments in the uh, comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit like, thank you all for continuing to stay with me as we have these important conversations about these, about these different aspects. Thank you.